Now, Doug Baldwin is the number one wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks, and he has been for a long time. But Baldwin's hurt, and he's missed almost all of the training camp and all of the install of Brian Schottenheimer's new offense in Seattle. Paul Richardson's no longer there, which leaves, at this point, one man standing from the old regime in Seattle, and that's Tyler Lockett. You mentioned fatigue, or I mentioned fatigue when it comes to the name Mike Williams. I admittedly have Tyler Lockett fatigue. We do it every year expecting the breakout, and it hasn't come. But I believe this year could be different. I don't really know why. Call it a gun instinct. But this year can be different for Tyler Lockett. You backing me up? I am absolutely backing you up here, Greg, and that's because... Doug Baldwin is dealing with that injury right now. So Tyler Lockett is learning this new Brian Schottenheimer offense already there. And look, if Doug Baldwin were to miss time at any point this season, that just leaves Tyler Lockett, in my opinion, as a de facto number one wide receiver. He's not built like a number one wide receiver. He's not this huge guy. He's not going to dominate the red zone. But he is incredibly fast, can get down the field, can get behind the defense. And we know Russell Wilson throws one of the prettiest deep balls in the entire NFL. I think it's just a match made in heaven based on you know the targets that are now gone from this team. Jimmy Graham is gone from this team. Paul Richardson is gone from this team. Even if Doug Baldwin's healthy, I think... Tyler Lockett is the number two, and we saw last year, especially with a guy like Paul Richardson, that that was a valuable spot to be in for the Seattle Seahawks. The defense isn't as good as it once was. Legion of Boom, no more. They could be trailing in some games, could be in some shootouts. That's going to lead to some big production for Tyler Lockett this year, Greg. Do you think he will still be as volatile week to week? He's maybe a better best ball play, but again, if I like this play because if anything were to happen to Doug Baldwin, I really do think he's the next wide receiver up. Look, they signed Brandon Marshall. I'm not really buying in on that. I think Brandon Marshall is a shell of himself at this time. Maybe he takes on that Jimmy Graham role, but I think especially if anything were to happen to Doug Baldwin, this injury lingers into the season, Tyler Lockett's going to have some serious upside, man.